thanks for stopping by my channel my name is Beth and we live by the sea I've had people ask me where we are and we're actually in North Carolina on the coast on an island called Topsail and we absolutely love it and we are getting ready for Easter it's in a couple weeks and I'm doing some fun decor around our beach house and using eggs these are styrofoam eggs and I'm gonna share with you some things to do with eggs and some things that you can bring in from the outside some branches and how you can decorate them so let's get started so to start off my first project I'm using a glue gun along with some jute twine and all I'm doing is I'm using a little butter knife so I don't burn my fingers and I start kind of a little circle on the top of it and then I start just wrapping it around now what I found is a little dabble do ya you don't need to put tons of glue on this otherwise one it will burn your fingers and also it just works better to just kind of wrap it around and then when you're at the end just cut it off and there you go let me give you some other ideas you can also use some cotton string and I also had this wider cotton rope that had three twines to it and I separated them and just used one twine to cover a larger styrofoam egg and it ended up looking like this. Also if you have some other colors of string like I had here that was navy I put a stripe in the middle. That is so cute isn't it? So I added these to a dough bowl that I have shells in and it's perfect for Easter. It's coastal and Easter all wrapped up. This next project is covering some of the eggs, but I'm using napkins and all you do is take the backing off of it and then I'm applying Mod Podge just sparingly to it. And for this design, it worked well to just tear the napkin and then I'm working it into the egg. And you don't want to use a lot of Mod Podge for this. You just need to use it sparingly. And once you have it covered, then you can set it aside to dry. And then this one, I actually cut the napkin because it has more of a directional and it just was better to cut it into strips. So I applied the Mod Podge and then as you can see, I'm gonna use my fingers again. And then the design, I matched that up and just kind of kept applying it to the sides and applying the Mod Podge from the top and the bottom. So if you do have a directional design I found this is the best way to do it and once they're finished you can put them in an adorable bowl that matches and isn't that so cute I also make this adorable rabbit pillow it's made with ticking stripe and linen and I use mine all year round it's just so cute I have a link in the description if you're interested it's in my Etsy shop for this next project I actually found these cute little flat wooden egg shape and to add them add a little bit of color I am just adding some scrapbook paper and I'm tracing on the back side and cutting it out adding a little bit of glue on the back and then putting that on the front isn't that so cute and then I actually also found these um, the rabbit shape and I'm doing the same thing to those and I'm going to take some of the jute twine and I'm going to loop that put that on the back side and let me show you what I do with them. Another thing I love to do is take some old vintage pictures and display them. Well, this picture was too small for the frame. All I did was cut some linen and put it behind the picture. And look how that looks. I love it. So let me show you what I did with it. So I love this vintage chest from my mother, just absolutely love it. And how I'm decorating it is I took some of the branches that I got from my yard, put them in a ball jar, and then found this cute little bunny. And I had this candy dish that looks like a duck. It's so cute. And then I'm adding the photo that I just framed.
And yes, you may find some surprises when you bring in branches from outside like this little critter. Isn't he cute? Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope it's inspired you to create your own Easter decor in, for spring. And please like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you back here soon.